Hi guys, and welcome back to another review. Today we're checking out the birthday scout for Kirito. Happy birthday, Kirito. Now you guys can see, we are going to be getting all the first anniversary characters as a six star, which is very, very nice, and I do appreciate that. Now Kirito here, the first anniversary, does do a 16 hit combo, which is insane, and he does teleport behind the enemy uh, mid SS3. With that being said, he originally had a really fast SS3, so making him a six star means he is officially the fastest six star out there. Um, in the game currently so that's pretty cool and i do want to say having him a six star and him being a dual blades i do i will believe that we will be seeing a lot of these curls in the ranking event so if you guys do happen to get him in the scout i do want to say he is probably one of the jackpots in this banner but unfortunately i do not recommend that you guys go out of your way and upgrade him into a six star if you guys already have him i would like to say just wait a little bit and see what other non-elemental ranking events maybe you guys will get something from a different banner or something or maybe one of these characters that you guys will get Using a buff or debuffer uh, will become a 6 star down the road. Next, we have the Kimono Kirito only doing a 5 hit combo, unfortunately, but does have double barrier. If you guys know uh, how well the trophy unit Fire Alice with the double barrier was using, she was really good in the four current events. I do want to say this Kirito will have that same effect, being just as good. Unfortunately, his combo is not as high, it's only a 5 hit combo, but having the double barrier will help in the four current events. Uh, definitely not for ranking, unfortunately, I do want to say he's super outdated for the ranking. Next, we have the GGO V2 Kirito. Uh, he does a 8-hit combo, and he does jump behind the enemy during his SS3. Now, he does also provide MP uh, recovery for his switch partner, only being Shinon. With that being said, I do want to say he's very, very outdated for the rank events. There are a lot of other good non-elemental characters out for the rank events. Now, if he's your only non-elemental character, I, he's decent for the rank events, but you guys are not going to get a good time using him. But he is really good for the guild for Quinn or guild ranking events just because of his MP recovering. For self MP recovering, I do want to say he's gonna be really good for the guild ranking events. Next we have Fatal Bullet Kiro. He does a nine hit combo, which is pretty good. And he's jumped behind the enemy. He does go really far unfortunately though. So if you guys do use him to nuke, you will have to walk quite a bit of ways after doing his SS3. But with that being said, I would not use him as a nuker, I'd more or less use him as a supporter in the ranking events. I do want to say he's probably one of the best characters in this entire banner, probably the jackpot of this, just because of how spamble is, really fast switch time, and he's probably one of the better Fatal units out of the Fatal banner. In my opinion, I do want to say he's very good, use him as a supporter, and I do want to see him uh, as a 6 star down the road, hopefully. Next, we have Squad Gym Kiro, and all these Squad Gym characters do have this ability to attack speed, uh, attack speed up during combo. So, just like any Dubla characters, as they reach the combo 50, the faster they will attack. But with that being said, I have not seen any of these Squad Gym characters other than Squad Gym Shinon and maybe the occasional Squad Gym Asuna be used in the end of the ranking events. So, I do want to say this uh, Kiro is becoming outdated. Now, he does do a 12 hit combo, a rather quick SS3 with the attack speed up combo. Uh, and with Trap Zone as well. But with that being said, uh, I don't really see him being useful in any of the rank events. We do have a whole lot of different dark units that can be better. Uh, like the Tilt Race Kirito. Maybe the Celestial Yuki. I see a lot of Celestial Yukis. I still have yet to see any of the uh, Squad Gem Kiros yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review did help. In my opinion, would I scout on this banner? I would definitely scout on this banner maybe once. I did scout on it and I ended up getting the Heroes Busting, which is the 5th Anniversary Kirito. Uh, he has the same SS3 as the OS Kiro, if you do not know him, and you guys know him from that. Uh, but yes, best of luck in you guys' scouts. If you guys did scout, let me know what you guys got in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to check that out. I hope this is real help, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.